Game 12 of FNCS Major 1, where Stash and Taysen lead by just three points over Malabuka and Thomas, which is less than one elimination. The next few moments will be legacy defining for each player. But first, this moment comes amid significant transitions for each player and Fortnite competitive generally. Thomas HD is the best player to never win an FNCS. He's played in 15 grand finals with eight top fives and 13 top tens. He teamed up with rising star of chapter three, Malabuka in hopes of breaking his curse. Thomas HD rocking with Malabuka. Just those names such fear instilled onto everyone else. But being in a new duo was a major change for him. He played with Mustache his entire competitive career. From an upstart team contesting Mr. Savage and Benji Fishy at Steamy Stacks, Malibuka is facing off against EU's two largest creators and with tens of thousands of people rooting against him. To one of Chapter 3's most dominant duos coming fourth in Season 2 and second in Season 3, but only six at the FNCS Invitational. Going into chapter four, they split, which shocked a lot of people. We had the other half of the Malabuka mustache duo of Malabuka and Thomas HD. Malabuka teamed up with Thomas, and Mustache teamed up with Taysen. He's moving forward, forcing the place with Taysen on all walls, but he oh sees everything through, finds it, a big match oh. with Taysen. Taysen is one of EU's winningest players and probably the GOAT of competitive, but he had not won in a while. Oh, he's washed, he's not grinding, he's just been contested. And like greatness comes with an unfairly high standard. That's what people expect from Taysen, they expect championships or nothing. Since winning Grand Royale at the end of Chapter 2, his Chapter 3 was a step down. He came third in Season 1 with Thomas HD, second in Season 7 and 23rd in season three. Are you sure about that? And although he was contested, he came 32nd at FNCS Invitational. So this was a big tournament for him. I'm gonna have my eyes attached to you all weekend long. It's Taysen, mustache, the goat of the game in my eyes, Taysen. Especially because the story of the FNCS Invitational, Fortnite's biggest tournament since the World Cup, had nothing to do with him. The story was the last game between two other EU duos. You've seen it all. In the 12th game and the final match, the second place team, Queezy and Vino, land on first place, Cami and Seti. Cami and Seti win and clinch the world championship. So leading up to major one, much was made about their rivalry. And Vino came into the tournament with insane confidence. Vino, all eyes are on you and Queezy for these grand finals. Is the pressure getting to you? Um, I mean, every FNCS, they put me as number one to win. And in all this previewing, we have failed to mention that Giannis was actually the reigning EU FNCS champion, winning Chapter 3, Season 3. He split from his duo of a deal to play with star player Reason. The, team the last sort of FNCS we had in this online format was won by Janice and Vadil in EU. And this season plan of reason. So this grand finals was a big deal. The stakes are so incredibly high, not just about the prizing, not just about the accolades from the fans in your region. It's about the spot at the global championship. Taysen and Giannis solo clutch for their respective duos, but neither can win. Can they do it? It's going to be the final shot connected. Janet stood no chance. Taysen starts game two with an absolute laser. Down this hill here. Don't do It'll be very cognizant of the team <laughs> around. Wow. <laughs> Taysen. He goes down, leaving Mustache as a solo. Box, Taysen, Mustache having difficulty. Taysen gets 180. Thomas Taysen. shows off insane aim. Might have to give it up. Thomas Malabuco all the way down below. Traversing that water now. And Thomas is a machine. Giannis and Reason get opportunistic and take height. Thomas is a solo. Malabuka gets taken down. And Giannis and Reason win on height. Vanyak, even against the best of the best players in the world, he will continue to do it in solo situations, but no, not against the duo of Reason and Janice. Taking an early lead. Vino starts the end game demonstrating his inhuman skill level. Vino with his classic sneaky, beaky <laughs> plays and a big couple of shots just to confirm the limbs. That is textbook queasy. Takes height. But queasy and Vino. Levin, I'm sorry, I blinked. I missed it. They're on height again. Thomas HD goes down in a sad way because every point will matter. Of materials. 
Oh, oh no. left the added clubs. No, Rifty was there. Thomas, not like this. And Queezy and Vino win. No chance whatsoever. As the control is too strong, the duo is too good. It's Reason three. takes out Thomas. Reason Janice absorbs himself as well. On the front side, Vanek wow. looking for the next shot, but he gets taken down. Meanwhile, on the bottom right, Thomas HD picked apart by Reason. Then Giannis goes down. Janice and Reason, they've gone up again, but Mixon takes down Janice. And so it's all on Reason now. Reason has to solo clutch and wins the second game of the tournament. Lacha now forced to look towards this fight. The Caxon was the toughest pressure from the sky. Reason drops down the menace, and he's trying to have the game secured. But Jarko goes for the steal. Mats to play with. Water down below. You have to elevate his reason. Have the mats all the way up top. Connects with his walls. Another one down to make another box. Jarko off the right side. Lands the first shot. Reason back up in the sky. One more floor. It's not his reason. Hits the falling shot. Gets it in the head again. Bot up top. It's blocked. Jarko with the next shot. He can win it. But Reason's too fast. They reason. take first, dominating to get the win. Giannis and Reason go down early, but we're joined by every major contender. So Belusi and JJ2 get the win. Day one ends with Malabuka and Mustache going head to head. Right back up, straight towards the builds. So smart. And, and Malabuka eliminates Mustache. Another big shot towards the top. Malabuka versus Mustache. But he and cannot pull out the win. He's Malabuka still fighting though. He still has a chance. Up against Shimoki, he's no match. This Yet it positions him and Thomas for day two moving up five spots, while Taysen and Mustache move up 12. If you were wondering what's going on with Cammy and Seti, they're contested, shifting to endgame. Thomas goes down. Mustache and Taysen are playing back of zone. Then, solo god Malabuka makes an absolutely insane highlight play. Down below, Malabuka is the one to have that effect again. Is it up against Mustache? What a shot, not the Vanyak. But Insane. gets eliminated by Mustache. Again, it's another 1v1, and Malabuka can't slow down. Up in the air, not this time. Mustache and Taysen take the win. Taysen, he has to connect. He has to hold on, and Mustache will come through. Taking second place. In game eight, Reason goes down. Reason down to one HP. Hold on, hold on. So Giannis goes for a swim, which pays off. Here they are on our screens now. Back into the safe zone at least. Well, not safe zone, sorry, but not in the storm. Maybe. And pays off more. They go for float axes. Trying to hit or do something in these boxes. A complete dive in. And more. He's walking in here. Oh, he's so low. And that's Another. Another one. But they go down too early. Up there from hammering away. Reason and Janice. They fall here just outside of the top 20. Taysen is working as a solo. Queezy and Venno take height. Thomas and Malabuka get to work on low ground. But Malabuka gets taken out. Ooh, Malabuka is going up for it. A little bit of control, but look at the cost for it. A big shot. He's going to get it off. Pino taking the damage, but Malabuka will go down. And Queezy finishes the game. To use Queezy's now building for Pino. Thomas HP advantage, Queezy from the backside. Malabuka and jumps to second, and Queezy and Vino jump to fourth. In endgame, the entire top four is competing to win. It's come to an end. Look at how low the entire lobby is to hack this oh, entire goodness. zone. It's going to be on top of a cliff. Everyone now going down. Vino barely makes it. Thomas HD makes plays. Thomas Alvuka also very active. Six elos, and I saw Taysen getting a few in the feed, so... Taysen and Mustache get to work. Mustache and Taysen on the other side of Thomas and Malabuka are just absolutely splitting the world ground apart. Wow. And then... A big collision is coming. Thomas and Malabuka against Mustache and Taysen. You've got to think it's coming, but no, Kate. He's going to interrupt it. He takes down Taysen. But Malabuka and Thomas have their own troubles now. They pass their life. They will fall. Mustache is doing this one. He hit what? the line. Mustache takes takes the game to a 1v1. Can't quite connect. Pink can connect. He will take him down. Taysen and Mustache take first, with Thomas and Malabuka moving to second. Now, it's kind of back to the top three or four teams that we've seen this season. Kicking off game 10 with Giannis going down. Janice just went down. Queezy, while solo, makes a highlight play. Before hammering now, he probably wants to land in this box since try to take Wow. Now. Oh wow. my goodness. Queezy. There goes that man, he stays alive as well. And Reason goes down outside of the top 25. Malabuka goes down. He misses against Pixie, twice the blunders, not like this. Then Taysen and Kylie wins game 10. Straight to game 11, with Reason and Giannis going down early, ending their tournament. We saw. Wow. <laughs> wow. Reason. Thomas and Malabuka get a critical refresh. Look at this, sending Thomas all the way through, and he slides right in! What a play! And then a laser. 30 seconds before. 
Oh. Let's go! Brilliant. Mustache flashes his god aim. <laughs> it is pretty another sappy zone. This is the exact time. Oh. 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 These two duos were really forcing each other to elevate their games. But Vino making absolutely bonker hammer plays, disrupting the narrative. The difference between getting up. Vino, though, so aggressive, so hungry. They're not even going for high right now. They're going for this. Yeah. Oh, they'll find it onto Mario. Tayson has to solo clutch. The tracking. Can't follow. Hit the bones. Oh. It's Tayson. It's a guarantee. Thomas down. Malabuka gone. This might be Tayson's moment. And finally goes down. Straight to the far side of the zone. He has the 1v1. Wrapped around. Peace control. Deny. Tayson and Mustache come out of that game with a three point lead. Less than a single Elim over Thomas and Malabuka. So here is the moment in time. In Endgame, first and second rotate right beside each other as things become chaotic. Thomas goes down after a heroic last stand. Nothing any shots, nothing to fully see. Thomas taking out a few, Vexi gone away, Malabuka in trouble, Max shot side by side, they have a few refreshes, but Malabuka's also trapped in the box, it's chaos, they can't see! Thomas is down! So, Malabuka has to solo clutch. It's going to be there, he's out of ammo on almost everything! Has to reload, it's all up to him, now it's Savage that he takes down, hammer in the inventory, he's making sure everything is clean, going in and out, the redeploys there for him, he has all the tools, to make the solo clutch a possibility. Then, Mustache goes down. Mustache falls! And the tournament would come down to a battle of solo clutches between Tayson and Malabuka. Tayson the trouble in a blender right now. Let's find a way to get things through Malabuka. Absolutely peachy up top. Setting down traps. Tayson has a chance to breathe. Fireball rolls, not stopping the pressure. Tayson flies all the way in front. No match now. Jason needs this elimination to stay in the game! And he finds it on the Marius! The GOAT continues his reign! Malabuka, delayed for a long time on the top right, has to move now. Jason, a lot of mats, charges refilled. He pushes forward, straight into a box, ignores everything because he prefers position, he prefers to live, and he can land the shot, but once again, finds himself on a low point, 48 HP. Malabuka is absolutely stress-free in this position. Malabuka in trouble. One player below him, low HP, can edit the floor, has to hammer all the way out. Tayson on the backside of his own. No match left. Tayson hung high to try. Malabuka on his last match with small goal. So close to the mic. Malabuka in the box. Oh, it's done. That's why he's the goal. Tayson stays alive when it shouldn't be possible. As long as nobody notices and he's good, but he falls as well. And there's just one point between it and your oh champion of major what? number one, a Mersash and Tayson. Tayson cementing his status as one of the goats of the game, leading Mersash to his first FMCS grand final. Tayson and Mersash win by just one point, again, cementing Tayson's status as the GOAT. Mustache got his first FNCS win, and to this day, Malibuka and Thomas are hunting for their first titles. Iconic football coach Jim Harbaugh once said, Fans have a constitutional right to expect success and have high expectations. So if any of the main players of this video are watching, greatness comes with expectations. Thanks so much for watching, like, sub, and check out our other videos.